ओ मेरा भोला है भंडारी करे नंदी की सवारी भोलेनाथ रे ओ शंकर नाथ रे ओ मेरा भोला है You must know how to be. If you don't know how to be, how are you a being? You're still a human creature, yes? Human creature is compulsive and conscious. Human being means naturally conscious, knows how to be. If you know how to be, only then other possibilities of exploring other dimensions of our existence, what other access we can have into life and deeper life into creation and the source of creation. Otherwise, people are just struggling to be. Most people are just struggling through their entire life to manage their physiological and psychological situations, isn't it? Entire life. All arrangements in their life are just about this, to buttress their psychological and physiological needs and situations. Uh, for that you should have come. Is any other creature which is eco-friendly? <laughs> An earthworm would be good. You could be an earth buddy naturally. I really felt that it was it was quite overwhelming, and um, I mean, Sadhguru has such a incredible presence that just being in that sea of presence was was very moving. I think it's once in a lifetime opportunity to be here. feeling blessed and just very very happy for me. Lake, it's called as Dumbo Lake, and uh, we uh, walked along with the river. Uh, he said, The age of gurus are coming to an end. We are truly blessed to have.
trying to relive your life for what it was. What it meant to you when you're twenty, twenty-five, if the same things you're looking for at seventy-five, you don't understand how your life is organized in terms of time and space. You just don't get it. What is the context of your existence? When I'm here, you don't need any goddamn tools if you are here, but you are not here. I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to the entire clan. If you are really here, you don't need any damn tools. Because you're not here, you need tools. I said, if you just sit with me for one moment, you don't need anything else, you're right here, all right? But there is a bag, there's a down bag, which doesn't make you feel the weather. So, you must know what you should protect yourself against and what you should allow yourself to be soaked with. Hello? See, right now, the cold weather, you must protect yourself against that because your body is not designed to take that. So, let's say you… you ate something, hmm? That was dinner. Okay. So you ate your food. Suppose you protect yourself against that, what do we do? No, you'll die of lack of nourishment. You must be receptive to what you consume, isn't it? So what you must protect yourself against, what you should allow and become receptive to, if this discrimination is not there within oneself, then tools slowly to work you, to tighten all the screws, it takes a long time. <laughs> By the time you tighten one thing, you lose in another thing. If the time we tighten this one, you lose another one. This goes on. I am not saying tools are not good, tools are good. Unfortunately, people need it. I am saying unfortunately. Because if they were truly on, they don't need any tools. So, uh, in many ways, this is the age of technology in engineering, you know. In many ways, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, but I'm saying this. The age of the gurus is ending in many ways. Because that time is over when people feel a certain energy, they will dissolve in it, they will become one with it, they'll throw everything away and go behind that because they recognize the value of that. I think with the age of technology that's gone, because one thing is it has to fit into their logical nonsense, another thing is, where is it? Tell me, they need something tangible in their hands. So tools are the only way forward. The age of the guru is really coming to an end in many ways. Here we are uh, driving towards Mustang Golf Course, the highest altitude golf course on the planet. This is the way we reach there, just see the terrain we are <laughs> driving into. Do you believe we are going to golf course? But yes, we are. Here with the Isha ball, here I'm about to tee off at the first tee. Look at my caddy, she's going to carry this bag at this altitude. Let me see how long she survives. <laughs> Today we feel very blessed and excited to see Sadhguru playing golf. And this place has been like placed with his first step. This is a proper tournament. <laughs> Just me and me playing. He's got such a great golf game. But nice to hit the ball at this altitude. It's flying over 300 yards. Oh, don't step on the green, don't step on the green. <laughs> this is the fairway. All right? Toshi. The ball is pin high. Fifteen thousand 
300 feet above mean sea level, highest golf course on the planet. Okay? Do you remember? Sierra on a golf course. 500 above journey of a lifetime, more than I expected. <laughs> Magical. It's beyond words. It's formative. Beyond my imagination. We are so deeply invested in the past. This is because we want to concretize. You can only concretize the past. You cannot concretize the present. Yes? You can give it a form and a definition to the past. You cannot define the present, you cannot give a form to the present. We do not know how it'll evolve right now. Because we are so invested in the past, everything that the present does seems to be shocking and a source of suffering for a whole lot of people. Because the same things that happened in the past are not happening, something else could be happening. When people say a wonderful life, that means the same things must be repeating. If anything new happens, they'll suffer. If anything new happens, it must be already predicted and they must be ready from the past, otherwise they cannot take it. So, when we are here on a pilgrimage, I want you to understand, this is about moving away from the past. Where is the past in you? It isn't just what you consider as myself. I want you to be here without even being conscious whether you are a man or a woman, it's important. I don't know how Sadhguru is driving. <laughs> It may be dangerous, it's very uncomfortable, the <laughs> it's like a little roller coaster, but thankfully we have the best driver and the most spectacular views. So I think we don't even realize that we are in some danger and that he's driving very precariously and making sure we get to our next destination. Truck is barely a truck. I don't even know if the brakes work. On the inside of the truck, it's very dusty in some parts. It's very cold in some parts, very hot in some parts, and but it's the most spectacular drive that I've ever been on. Sadhguru, sat with us. He was an ocean of compassion. We felt that he is carrying us. And every way, with every breath we're taking at this moment, he's carrying us to realize Shiva. शिव कैलाशों के वासी धोड़ी धारों के राजा शंकर शंकट
we will get 